Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left hand corner, we have Wugsaw starting as the Midnight Blue Terran. Upper left hand corner, we have Wasion, or Scion, as I like to call him. It's just easier that way. Starting as the Teal Zerg. Upper left hand corner, this is on Polypoid, and this is the final match of, I think I was saying it was round three, but it is round two of the loser's bracket. Really quick because of Twitch chat in the background. Ayayaya. That was a bad ayaya, but it's an ayaya. Quick reminder, I have moved, for people wanting to watch it live, uh, I've uh, moved doing these live to 3, approximately, 3-ish p.m. PST, as late as 3.30 PST on Tuesdays, Thursdays. That's how it slots my schedule these days. I love my Twitch audience. I'm just going to say that. Just great people. <clears throat> so hi to you guys out there. Anyway, looks like Initial Scout is going to be for Cyan bottom left hand corner. I really also have enjoyed that... The players have hopped into the comments here and there. And I love getting your guys' perspective on these matches. So if you have thoughts, like I love Oblivion's been sneaking into the games here and there and been like, man, that's quite a player there, eh? It's a play depot being built in this back edge. There's a tree right here. I did not even realize. Just the full tree blockading. That would have been good building space, but it's just, is that reflected on the map? There's no tree up here. That's not fair. Whatever. Barracks popping down after Supply Depot, so nothing too crazy as of yet. In the meantime, we have an Overlord first build, a round of drones, and it looks like we are going to see a 12th hatch <clears throat> on a floor player map. So, and honestly, even if it wasn't a four player map, I think uh, because of rush distances, it would be safe to execute. It looks like initial scout for Wugsaw. Might go Caddy Corner, upper right hand corner, initial drone scout making its way out. See if it, nope, just kidding. It's not going cross map, it is going to go top left and discover that hatchery. One problem for that, and the Overlord does need to be here alongside, because one thing with SEVs, they can be sneaky and once they, because the hatchery doesn't have the same level of vision, they can kind of sneak out of vision range, plant down bunkers and things. So you need to stay on top of that. Gas plopped, I think, at the around the 205 to 207 mark, so it looks like we are seeing two hatch mutilists, the Overlord, finding SEVs in this corner. Let's see if this drone returns home or proceeds forward. Upon seeing that 12th hatch, SCV going to go ahead and drop down that command center with safe play. Spawning pool being built. And we'll see if uh, any Zerglings get built once that's ready. SCV trying to mix it up, doing some damage, pulling a drone off the line actually to engage it. So a nice little bit of harassment, getting some mineral damage that way. Hatchery not that far from being built. Now the question is, is okay, is Wugsaw going to go, is he going to respond to this with any aggression? Looks like he's already setting up a supply depot on the low ground. Which, the way this is being built, it looks like it's being built into the cliffside, which I bet that would be a great, like, side visual. Which is, like, looking at the cliffside and seeing a gigantic supply depot being built out there. Looks like uh, no larva being saved to build initial Zerglings, so instead a tech to layer immediately. Let's see if there's going to be any Zerglings. So it's right in Wugsaw's face, so Wugsaw going to know the timing of it precisely. One Marine holding the front. Looks like it is going to be a two racks build. Gas now tacking on as well. Let's see if an Academy gets dropped rapidly to apply pressure. Command Center coming online. SCVs still hanging out around the corner. It looks like I, there's at least two Zerglings being built. <clears throat> I think that drone, by the way, came back home and is happily mining away at the natural expansion. I didn't confirm that on the minimap. Regardless, Zergling's going to hunt that SCV, try to push it out. I'm not sure that this matters much. Wug might just want to pull back and make sure he sees how many SCVs are fielded and just to make sure that it's not a full bust, but getting like the full eyes on everything. So Cyan, they're the SCV going down, but Cyan's going to uh, need to absolutely need to prepare for Mutalisk. Is there going to be a drone movement towards the third base as of yet? I don't see any motions. Few, it looks like a round of Zerglings is being built. Maybe to just play protective. Maybe to go for a bust. A bunker is being constructed on the front. It looks like we do have an academy. So this does open up the opportunity for a quick bust attempt. Spire being constructed. The Zerglings swarming down. On a bust attempt, these Zerglings would at least be an early warning system. Although I don't think they would be sufficient to deal with the Medic Marine Force. Drone now making its way out. I yeah, with the Overlord in the upper right hand corner, it looks like that is going to be the base du jour. Comsat stations being constructed. Here's the two medics, and we'll see if there's any movement. So the engineering bay coming back 
a little bit later. Stim pack is going to be done fairly rapidly. Spire is halfway finished. Compsat catching it on that motion. And a third barracks being dropped. The two medics are here, and it does not look like that bunker is being emptied to go ahead and pressure that front. Also, no something colonies being built. Zerglings holding fast on the exterior. An interesting play from... This feels like a mistake from Scion. Maybe he's just hoping to dodge some comps at here. But he's taking the hatchery at the... So he's got two drones out in the field. He's got one bottom right, but he took the natural expansion in the upper right-hand corner. And I think he's just hoping that doesn't get scouted. A creep colony now on the front as well. But usually you take the upper corner so that you can plant some lurkers down and defend that top expansion on the low ground... That makes it very difficult to defend. <clears throat> Turrets already being constructed. Another comp set. Forgot I can do this now. Yeah, so check. So there it pays off. So he checks the upper right-hand corner, sees nothing. And maybe this is going to lead him to believe, okay, this is all in with these Zerglings approaching as well. The Zerglings initially diving in, pulling back out. The turret's getting worked on. One turret down. Looks like that second turret is going to finish, and there's enough marines back here with the medics, and that turret should get rebuilt. But potentially that could have been devastating, creating a hole to poke. It looks like seven mutalisks making the way out slightly later than perfectly optimal, but still going to have an opportunity. Another compsat being dropped. Yeah, trying to find... So right now it's mind games, trying to find whether there's that third hatchery or not. And actually, I think compsatting the front and seeing how many Sutton colonies there would be a better indicator. But that third hatchery is online. The Mutalisk's now diving in. But Wug might think at this situation, okay, I can just shell up. I haven't seen that third hatchery, so I can play more defensively. We'll see if he opts to do that. He does have range. He does have stim. Factory also being built, so maybe thinking about a bus. Plus one weapon's about halfway finished. Just now grabbing that second gas. Four turrets over that edge. So not the best range of approach. Ten Mutalisks along that corner, grouping up to maybe get something accomplished. And are we seeing a Hydralis Den? Plus one weapons, but no Hydralis Den. So let's see if there is a Hydralis Den as a follow-up. Mule's taking some free damage over that edge. The Marine's getting some good damage on these Mutalisks. Drones not yet... So currently mining minerals, not yet grabbing that gas. There's the Hydralis Den, about halfway finished. So it looks like there is going to be a cycle back to Lurker Tech. Well, just now grabbing that second gas and going for the starport behind this. Plus one weapon's not that far from finishing. Hasn't pop, uh, plopped down a fourth barracks as of yet. But has a lot of workers. Has a supply lead. Large amount of Mulus really haven't done any sort of economic damage. They have managed to keep that Medic Marine Ball back, and I think Wug's still playing from the position, assuming that he's going against two bases. Maybe a little bit confused in that regard. So continuing to macro up. Looks like he's going to wait, potentially, on the science vessels to make a move out. Tacking down some additional supply depots. But no fourth barracks, and that might hurt over the long term. I, we'll see if that actually makes the rest happen a little bit earlier. Two mules getting picked out of the air, though, for Scion. Overlord also taking some damage with that comsat. Looks like it's going to get picked out of the air. That doesn't put Scion in the red. Third gas is up online. The mule is still trying to find an angle, but I don't think Science managed to inflict any damage on this Medic Marine group and continuing to build Mutalus. Plus some weapons now there. Double Starport dropping with a control tower. Fourth Barracks being built. This one's going to move back in position. I assume there's... Now we're going to play the game of, like, where is the Science Facility? Not yet built. Science Facility being constructed. I like Wug's position here. So despite not finding the third... Medic Mar Ooh, Marines moving out. They're a little bit stranded from the Medics. The Medics didn't pick off. That's actually a big pickoff for Scion. But Scion's still not all that far ahead in supply. Third gas is up, but he's not made any motions towards Hive as of yet. And Wug is in a great supply position, starting to press forward. If he can find this third base, should be able to wipe it out without too much trouble, but otherwise can just hold position in front of Scion's front, and honestly, he's peeled away at so many Mutalisks, I don't even know that he needs the Science Vessels and Irradiate to chew away at the rest of this army. Mutalisks are just dying left and right. They have managed to get one Medic, it feels like. In the midst of this attack, another... Okay, finally, some additional Marines being picked off on that high ground cusp. Three something colonies, Lurkers making their way out. This might be disastrous for Wug if he doesn't micro it properly. Lurkers positioning forward, looking to surround that troop grouping. They do not have... 
science vessels nor radiate to assist with this. So I'm going to go ahead and back off. That third gas up and happily mining, or yeah, happily mining and some lurker eggs now coming online. So WUG actually now maybe in a spot of trouble. So continue to press forward. Lurker is getting obliterated but and going to be able to walk. So not a bad exchange. Four or five Marines for two Lurkers, not bad. Two Marines hanging out at the nine o'clock position. The Marines starting to move out. Looks like they're going to have some discovery. The science vessel count now established, starting to move out to join the grouping. We do have a fourth and a fifth barracks up and running and humming. Lurkers are making their way across. Maybe a hold position lurker play in between. But this has now been discovered, I believe, Marine. I wish you could see kills on the Sunken Colonies as well. But actually, maybe Titan Reactor can do something like that. But in the meantime, Hive Tech is just now getting started. An Evolution Chamber is there otherwise. The lurkers trying to swing their way back. Science Vessels are here, though. Two lurkers getting obliterated. Three lurkers getting obliterated before they're even able to burrow. And actually, this might be a bustable front. And a radiate dropping. Science vessel down. Wug engaging and a radiate on the Mutalist. A good split off for Scion. But loses a lot. Ooh, takes a lot of damage on the Mutalist otherwise. And now, yeah, potentially at threat. If he can concentrate the fire, dance in and out. One sunk colony down. Second sunk colony being worked on. Still a decent troop grouping here. Lurker moving up, and it looks like he's going to back off with what he has, but still a decent supply lead. He's still got a decent attack force in front of this. More science vessels starting to move out. Wug not looking bad. Increasing that barracks count. Some lurkers coming from that right-hand corner. Wug also going to go ahead and grab that mineral only, which I think he can take very, very safely, kind of poking here and there. These Lurkers very likely going to get irradiated, but the thing is he does need to get a move on because Scion has managed to make it attacking on a uh, macro hatch. He has managed to make it to Hive Tech. No Defilers as of yet. Uh, is managing to get some hits on these Science Vessels, but an Irradiator 2 and another push on this front and Wug might be able to break. Now grabbing that expansion top right corner. Wug at nearly double the supply, but he does need to get aggressive with his attack force to really capitalize on it. And he... Yeah, there's the Defiler Mount. Defiler Mount changes everything. Makes positions much more defensible. That would be 4 base. Because it could swing to 4 base versus 3. It looks like 6... Or maybe 4 versus 4. It's 6 o'clock location being grabbed now for Wug. The Science Vessel's being hunted. But Wug happy to just go ahead and hold position out here. Continue to grow that troop count. I think he's happy to just... Yeah, okay. Go ahead and... Work on the upgrades, play positional control. Mostly leaving the upper right hand corner untouched though. But it looks like he wants to play the four base starvation game, Nidus Canal up. Yeah, just drop a bunch of irradiates and just threaten to bust at any given point in time. So some additional Marines moving up. This is not, this is like a, oof. Okay, it looks like they're just gonna hold here. That's good. Because if they proceeded any further forward, that would be a suicide run. Marine camping at the exterior locations. So just holding map control, going to mine, and drop the radiates otherwise. A lot of Scourge on the corners. I think preventing drops or anything else, so it also has that option. But Wug, yeah, just doing a good job of macroing behind this. And it's just, yeah, doing, uh, honestly, if you're playing on the ladder, this is this is stereotypical what you, the position you want to be in, I guess, this Terran. Where you just kind of sit back, macro, box your opponent in, slowly choke them to death after that. As long as you're diligent getting those irradiates and avoiding scourge can grab a tank if you want and siege but honestly not absolutely necessary you just need to make sure that you're continually irradiating and not losing science vessels like that but yeah just continually dropping the irradiates forcing the cost more troops starting to gather up to that top right but yeah you do need to uh yeah make sure you're diving in and out but i gotta say wug looking good second evolution chamber being dropped i think plus one carapace is online there are four gas, but it's but I, I feel like Wug is going to do a decent enough job here. We'll see. There's the dropships. Uh, potentially going to do a decent enough job pressuring these locations where there's not going to be enough gas to go around to defend all of this. It looks like now able to push some of these units back. Dropping lurkers, getting two kills. But also eating a lot of irradiates. Scourge trying to press forward, but I'm waiting for the drop here. So they're going to scoop some stuff up. There are lurkers here, but no defenses. They're going to have to 
hightail it and run to deal with the dropships to the north. It looks like the... Oh, did the Lurker see it? The Lurker saw it. So Zerglings rushing up to the north to engage the drops. Unfortunately, one of the dropships still over that edge, so not quite getting it done. Scion in the red, lost an Overlord someplace. But Lurker is not burrowed. Sunk Colony is finished, however. So Wug just going to scoop that troop back up. And yeah, I think he just needs to play defensive. Aggressive defensive once again. Be the impenetrable wall on the front. Another creep colony being dropped. These uh, defilers, oh man, they're just getting irradiated. And actually now drop opportunity back behind this line. Keep in mind, yeah, without troops underneath this, complete bust. And there's only one defiler to maybe push this back. If, they, if this Irradiate drops on this Defiler, this could be endgame for Scion on the front. Double the supply for Wug. Wug also still has, looks like some medics grouping up, hugging each other, staying alive in that corner. But yeah, oh my gosh. And there is an Irradiate ready. Just one more Irradiate. And that would be it, honestly. I think for this natural expansion, more troops starting to push up. This is going to be really, really close here. Some Zerglings going to have trouble pushing back. Yeah, so dropping the Comsat, sees the one Defiler, gets the Irradiate off. This is a big moment here. Now pushing in, Zerglings not getting anything done. This is level 3 weapons, level 2 armor. Now that natural expansion is going to get busted, that, that Nidus Canal very likely is going to get taken out. <clears throat> so solid play here from Wug, just can reinforce everything here. Yeah, just needs to choose his targets. I think he's going back in Macarang. Oh man, just barely... Now pulling back out, he can get another shot in not too long, just needs to drop another Irradiate, which I think he lost a lot of Science Vessels in, in those exchanges. It looks like some Battle Cruisers, by the way, coming up along that left-hand side, cleaning out what's left of the Mutalisks. And actually, is there enough gas for Scion to clear this? I think well, he's got a lot of gas in the bank, but still just been sitting back in supply. A dropship that scooped up earlier going to drop over that natural expansion. I think the Lurkers were trying to defend, and I missed that. So going to be able to take out some drones down here. Round of Zerglings trying to be built to try to push this back. It's not a lot of troops. But you can just see the streams of blue making their way across the map. And these Defilers, yeah, getting picked off. I don't even know that they have Plague upgraded as of yet. Hatcheries, lots of other stuff now at risk. Natural Expansion exposed once again. No Defiler here to defend. And that Spire getting poked away at. And if he concentrates fire on that, well, there's a lot of options for Wug right now. He's in firm control of this match. First of all, he's got a, a bunch of bases running. Second of all, honestly, he doesn't even have medics. The medics are not trailing with his attack force, but I don't know that he needs them. With that plus three weapons, dropping comps out there to go ahead and catch that lurker. He's going to be able to take this natural expansion up. Scourge finally spawning, but in a scattered... Yeah, just going to call GG right there. Well played by Wug, top to bottom. He will advance. Scion gets eliminated, which is unfortunate. But I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thanks for listening.